Taurus, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Taurus, if you found this message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Taurus, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so, so, so very much. For your support of the channel, my darling, absolutely. All right, guys, um, coming into the energy, um, I feel overwhelmed, okay? I'm not going to lie. My chest is heavy. Um, my heart is heavy. My shoulders um, are heavy. Your energy is very, very, very thick, very, very heavy. Um, I feel burdened. I feel emotional. I feel, um, like, woe is me. You know what I'm saying? Here we go again. Or, oh my God, like all of these things. I have to say, I'm trying to, to kind of go past that. Um, because I know that's not everyone. Number one, uh, number two, there is always meat and potatoes, but behind the situation, you know, the root of the problem. And to be honest, I'm struggling getting out of this. So I know that you're struggling feeling uh, this woe is me moment, okay? Let's see if we can get some help with this. I'm pulling from the animal spirit oracle for you. Can I have Taurus, please? Can I have Taurus, please? Mm. All right. I have a peacock in reverse, first of all. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creation that is so vibrant and bright and um, captivating, the peacock energy is. And it's in reverse. It literally reads, matter of fact, let it shine but it's in reverse because that's how I feel in your energy, Taurus. I feel like, whew, this is one of those moments where you just want to be left alone. I'm not going to lie. You know, just put me in a dark room. Let me hide under the covers. You just, just let me sit in this for a minute. I think I'm not that, uh, how can I say that? I know that sounds horrible, but that's just being realistic. Sometimes you just really don't feel like fixing shit. You don't feel like pushing through all the time. I don't feel like I'm going to manifest and I'm going to speak positivity. You know, sometimes you just want to just, can I just sit in my shit for a minute? You know, just give me a minute. You know, I, I'm going to get up. But just for now, just give me a minute. You, some just leave it broke for for one second. You know, um, that's how I feel in your energy. Okay, the skunk is coming in with support with this matter because the skunk. What I like about the skunk because it's not a really kind of everybody's favorite animal, but uh, the skunk knows he's a friggin' skunk, and the energy that's coming in to assist you with where you are is. For you to know who you are. Ooh, Shamalama Ding Dong. Okay, let me say that again. The energy that's coming in to assist you with where you are is reminding you who you are. The skunk reads, know your worth. You know, know your worth. Know your worth. I'm not talking about your job, your family, the kids, the 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 lovers, the 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 parents, the grandparents, the uncles, the aunts, the nieces, the nephews. The bop, 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 bop. We're not talking about that right now. I'm not talking. I know you have obligations. I know you have responsibilities. 
I know you have connections that are good and toxic. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about you. Okay? The skunk addresses you as an independent individual. Okay? An independent energy. Know your worth. Know your worth. If it's not right, it's just not right. If it don't sit right in your spirit, it's just not right. If somebody is saying, Taurus, listen, I'm going to give you half of my pie because I love you. But I need you to give me everything you own. That's just not right. If somebody is saying, Taurus, take care of this now. Take care of all of I have going on now. Help me with everything that I have going on now. And then later on, I can help you wash your car. Bye, Felicia. Okay, bye, Felicia. We're not doing that. That is not an equal yoke. It is not a healthy exchange. That's not even a, an exchange of gifts. This is manipulation at its best. That's how I feel. And now I'm, I, the meat and potatoes are coming through. This is what I was looking for when I came into your energy. I knew something had to happen. I knew something had to happen. This is the meat and potatoes, okay? So let's get to the tarot. Maybe we can get some more details, but this is how I feel in your energy. And I saw these earlier. Let me see. Yeah. We're going to um, do the spread with light sears today. And I, you don't belong there. I specifically saw in the light seers deck coming into your energy the page of swords which is an air energy it's a young energy it's um sometimes known to be kind of stalkish so you may have somebody like looking into your business or your gifts or your resources. It, it, this page feels like they're checking to see what you have or have access to so that they can know how much they can expect from you. Do that make sense? You ever have somebody, like especially your kids. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm laughing because I really, these kids is crazy. Um, especially mine. Uh, but uh, you know, when your kids say, you know, can I have, I don't know, can I have a dollar, you know, and you say no, but you got all them dollars over there. You understand? That's how this page feels to me. This page feels to me like they've done some research or homework into your, what, what you have or have access to Taurus. And they know that they're not asking for something that's outside of your means. So they're making you stand on uh, why you're not sharing or giving or providing or assisting or helping. That's how this feels to me, Taurus. I'm literally, I want to say I'm pissed off uh, and just fight for you and be in the parking lot with you and we can wait for them to come outside. Like, you know, it was a time in my life, but a Taurus, I'm trying to grow. <laughs> and I have to say that this page energy is not really operating totally off of malice. There is a lot of um, ignorance here. Okay. So this is like somebody, uh, I'm going to tell you the truth. As a matter of fact, I use myself as an example. Uh, when I was young, I was um, uh, fortunate and blessed to always kind of like um, connect with the right people. You know, I always knew somebody that knew somebody. And I knew somebody that bought a house and, and I, I was very young. I was uh, 20 and I found out that they went through this program and they got their house and they only needed like $2,000. And I'm like, wow, I could do that. You know, at the time I was working two jobs and, um, 
So I did it and I got my first house literally 20, 10 days after my 21st birthday. I'll never forget it. And um, fast forward through the years, I've made some other friends and somebody fell into some hard times and asked me to put my house up for their situation. <laughs> the, the, Taurus, when I say this person really like was tearful and knew that I had the ability to do it, but they didn't understand what they were asking. That's how it, this, and that's how this feels to me. And I'm not trying to give this person a pass or this situation a pass in your life, but I'm just letting you know that some people ask for things that they've never had access to or accomplished in their life to know the struggle behind it. Therefore, they really don't understand what they're asking of you. You understand what I'm saying? I just got to say that. I, I love you, Taurus. And like I said, I, I'm not I'm not trying to support or advocate for this person or whatever it is that's um, trying to take too much out of you right now. But um, the bliss of ignorance is really bliss. It's a horrible statement. I hate that statement. I've always hated that statement because I always was the one that felt like it was di directed to me and I was looked at as stupid, you know, but you really don't, they don't know. They just don't know. I know that in my spirit, but we're going to do this spread, see what comes up. Let me have a core. Thank you. And I have death and rebirth coming in sideways, scorpion energy, and there's temperance. See, this is an opportunity, Taurus. You're, 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 you feel like I think you're in a pickle. I personally see this as an opportunity. Death and rebirth is literally a, a passageway. It's, it's a portal, you know, it's an, it's kind of like, the, the if think of it like an uh, exit on the freeway you know you can go up the ramp to the next level to that next to whatever section and try some new streets in that new area or you can stay on this same road at the level that you're at you'll still go forward because that's the promise you have on your life but if you're trying to elevate and change and see new things, then we're going to have to get off of this road and change the road, right? I'm just trying to give you a visual of the energy. And this is sideways because right now you're torn, I think, between um, uh, number one, ending something and starting something new or allowing something to die so that something can be reborn. We can word this however you want. You know, um, ultimately, um, this portal energy, how can I say that? The portal energy, how can I say that? Ba, 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 ba. Help me with my words. Um, Four of Wands is also portal energy, but it's from what you do. Death and rebirth is portal energy, but from what you've been through, what you've already learned, what you've already completed. Death and rebirth is... Um, uh, kind of like shedding of the skin. You've already gone through a cycle, but when it comes in sideways, that means that energetically you're holding on to the old skin when the new skin is trying to come through. Temperance is heal, uh, here to assist you, to even support what I'm saying. Temperance energy, light seers doesn't show it, but it's an energy that comes midway your journey, midway, okay? Midway a cycle, midway a journey to heal, restore, replenish, rejuvenate so that you can complete whatever task that's before you or get to the end of the road. You understand? This angel comes in when you're like, I'm, I'm look, I'm not going to make it. I've already had to do this and I'm only halfway there. So this angel comes in and says, look, let me take your empty and give you some of, of my, my full, you know, um, to assist you in this process. So even in this deck, the angel is holding, uh, the sun in the moon. It's a, it's a time of transformation. Death and rebirth is a transformation energy. So understand that you are really right now in between like the in between. Okay. And it, it you're tired. 
I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I, that's how I feel in your energy. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. My spirit, my heart, my heart is hurting. I got the frog in my, my throat and everything. Like you are exhausted. Um, because it just seems like no matter how much you fight, you always have to fight. That's how I feel in this energy. So, you know, you still stay positive and, and, and faithful, um, knowing that my time is going to come, my ship is going to come in, you know, I'm going to have these great, uh, changes in my life and all of this backstabbing and betrayal is going to end. It's going to come to an end and I'm going to be fine. I'm going to have an opportunity to rest, but here comes this page. That's that. I, I saw this, this page of swords, this person or a situation in your life, I don't know if you're learning something new or somebody maybe young or they're um, very, um, I, I hate the term ignorant, but I can't use another one that really kind of fits this energy uh, the way I feel it. They're kind of ignorant to what, how much they're asking for or what you've been through or the fact that it's completely unfair. You know, crown this energy, please, for Taurus. We need some more information, please. Thank you. And uh, there's a, they say, you need a healthy exchange. You got to pull down from that. That's this, the, 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 what, whew, Lord, I love my squad. The two of cups crowns you because when you're operating in an energy and in a mindset and in a frequency of an equal yoke, an equal exchange, you know, somebody that looking after me and I'm looking after them, we're, we're on the same page. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's a healthy connection. Okay. Cause right now what you're feeling is not healthy. That's not a healthy exchange, but pull down from the healthy energy to give you the boost that you need um, to get you out of the funk. You know what I'm saying? Which again applies to the skunk. Know your worth. Know your worth. Ooh, come on Taurus. Oh yeah, I feel the power coming back. I know you feel it. I feel it too, baby. It just shifted. I feel the tingles and everything. What's working against Taurus right now? What's in the way? The magician. All right. Um, I'm just want to make sure it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, magician is coming in reverse. Okay. So what's working against you? Every, this is what I was talking about. Remember I said earlier, I said, sometimes you get tired because it seems like you always have to fight or push through and you always fight and push through and blah, 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 blah. That's kind of like a magician energy that comes in reverse. Magician in the upright is an energy of li literally having access to anything that you need to create anything that you want. It's a magician. They use tools. It's a uh, sorcery. I don't like that term. Hmm. It's a good cook. They have all the ingredients to make the meal. You understand? They have all the ingredients to make whatever they want. That's magician energy. When it comes in reverse, that's what you got ham and you got no burger. You got the peanut butter and no jelly. We, we, we got cereal and no milk. It's like, damn, I can't never have them both at the same. What in the world? That's what works against you, this energy right here. But this energy only works against you because you're looking at the lack, the ladder the one that's missing, okay? And that's because of this imbalance in whatever is being exchanged right now in your life or whoever asking you for. High Priestess is coming in with the Magician. If that's not a un, uh, a Magician in reverse, if that's not a un, this is like, help me with my words, help me with my words. Uh, this is like um, the best person that you could think of, the most enlightened, the kindest, uh, loving, you know, and very just spiritual and, and, and uh, so divine with the darkest, worst, whatever. This is the, if this is an opposites, I don't know what is. I, I I need you, Taurus, I hope you with me on this. What's crowning you is a perfect match, a equal yoke. What's working against you is an unequal yoke. 
where you are is stuck in between either continuing the unequal yoke just because you can handle it, because you can handle it, all right? But you're tired. Mm, God darn, this is going through me. But you're tired. You understand? So it's up to you to pull down from that two of cups on this one. What, 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 let me see what's, where's this coming from? Where's this coming from for Taurus? What brought this on? Please and thank you. I have an eight of swords. Feeling stuck. No way out. And then the page of wands. So Taurus, I have to say in, in this energy, because this page is you. I don't feel like this is that other page. It's almost as if somebody's asking you or expecting something, some kind of help from you and you see yourself in them. Is that what this is? So you're saying, let me help them because nobody helped me. I know how that feels. But now you're trying to help this person and they not, they're they not as receptive as you think you would have been if somebody tried to help you. Is that how this is going? So now you feel like you're cut. Like, what do I do? I don't want to abandon them like everybody else because I know what that feels like. But I'm trying to help this mother lover or I'm trying to do the right thing at this job. And they wonder why all the employees quit. You understand what I'm saying? That's how this feels now. It just, the, like, are you seeing this? I, is it me? I, let me know. If you're saying like green eyes, you don't even know me. This ain't my, none of my, look, let me know. All right. Six of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Taurus, I feel like you made it out of something and somebody is coming to you for assistance to help them get out and they're not doing what you did. They're not either, they're not receiving, they're not doing, you know, they're not action oriented or whatever the case is. But I don't know if it's because of an age difference or even a sense of entitlement. I have to say that as well. Where's this going for Taurus? Hello. All right, so Taurus, you're going to get it. Yep. Five of Wands coming in reverse and the King of Cups. And that means you're about to give absolutely, you're going to go cold. <laughs> yeah, mate. If they never met you, they about to meet you. I'm telling you. If they never met you, they about to meet you. I don't think they know that this, you about to go cold. You about to go cold. Ice rigid. That's when I, when I said it's like, what did I say? Like, leave me alone. Just leave it broke for now. You know, you're about to go cold and that's okay. I, that Me personally, I think that everyone is entitled to whatever emotion that they feel. You're not, you can't stay there, you know, for too long, but definitely if that's where you need to go, um, to, to regroup, reground, um, to rest, you know, sometimes you got to go cold. Sometimes you do. You, you just got to say, you know what? Nix everybody and everything. And, and, and it, look, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Cause that's where you about to go. If you're not there already, three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I have to say Taurus that if this is a continuous problem in your life, therapy, is on the table. If you consider it, please reconsider it. Okay. Um, I try to suggest to people that are seeking therapy, make sure you try to, um, for, for one, your therapist has to be somebody that you are, uh, that you feel comfortable with and that you feel understands your meat and potatoes. You understand? So if your situation today is, let's say, uh, depression and anxiety, but your meat and potatoes is, um, abandonment or some type of abuse. Make sure you see the therapy for the meat and potatoes, the abandonment and abuse, the, because that means that the depression is and anxiety are symptoms of the meat and potatoes. You understand? So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, there's that friggin' page. This mother lover, uh, 
you know, if you go cold, or I'm going to say when, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling. Because I, I, I feel the ice literally, um, yeah. When you go cold, this person in, is going, you're going to withdraw is, the, is what's going to happen. You're going to withdraw. And this person or this job or whatever the situation is, they're going to feel like you betrayed them. And you were their last resort. Okay? Taurus, let, let me tell you this. When you're operating from a pure heart and you know that you're doing the right thing, probably for you and them, then please allow that to give you some type of peace because it never feels good uh, sometimes to correct somebody or to protect yourself. You know, when you take the toy, if you, if you take, a, I don't know, a dangerous object from a baby, they cry, but they don't know it's dangerous. And you don't want them to cry, but they don't understand. So I need you to kind of think of that when you withdraw yourself from this situation or person that they're going to feel like horrible, but it's for the best. And I need your energy to reflect that. I'm doing the best for me and them. Okay. Um, because at this point, nobody is winning. You know, it's, it's nobody winning. They're coming to you for help and you're in a position to help them, but their whole involvement in your life is actually pulling you down. They don't even realize it. And you trying to figure out how is this even happening? But energy is strong. It really is. It really, really is. All right. So know that divine favor works in your life when you stand in divine favor and uh, you're in alignment, you know, with the most high, with with whatever your assignment is. Even if you don't know your assignment, yet, you're in you're on your right path because slowly but surely you know this is you're going to heal temperance is coming in with this knight of pentacles all right you have nothing but fortune and favor here with this wheel nice healing coming in and you're right you know uh, with your expectations some of you are saying look you know at this point i think i've ran out of people to lose i ain't gonna lie we talking here because we talk all right sometimes you just really get to that point i didn't ran out of people to lose so what I do know is that everything that I've done in the past, uh, it wound up bit biting me in the butt. You know, I helped this person, it bit me in the butt. I did this, that bit me in the butt. You know, so you kind of go to this energy of let me just stay by myself, do my own thing, focus on my path, uh, take my time through this thing called life. Because I know that what I've done in the past sometimes bit me in the butt. So I'm going to take the knowledge of learning by my mistakes and I'm going to apply them to the steps that I'm making in the future. And I'm trying not to make the same mistakes. You understand? That's that beautiful hermit energy, that energy of wisdom, the application of knowledge, not just knowing the right thing to do, but actually doing the right thing. Okay, so that uh, then steps into your true power and growth with that hair font. That's that level. That's the exit off of the freeway. You're taking things up a notch with that hermit energy. And when you take it up a notch, it's the most high God that we serve and that we're just is so beautiful because right there to meet you at the ramp. There's your Uber, your chariot, okay? But you have to take it up a notch to get this chariot energy to come through. Beautiful energy, Cancerian energy here. And the chariot takes you to wherever you are choosing to go. You don't have a say in that dest uh, in that journey because it's driven by the angel, but you have a say in the destination. And look at the destination, prosperity, new beginnings, a tangible change in your life, a tangible gift in your life. Okay. I'm not talking about love or divine clarity. You know, I'm talking about something you can actually hold with your skin, with this skin suit, you're going to touch it and you're going to just know that God provided, you know, it was a gift. Okay. That's where this is going for you. All right. Nothing but beauty and success after that six of wands. I love it. So 
let's end it here on a positive note. And I want you to know that um, you deserve what you put out. Okay? You just, I mean, you deserve more than that. But damn, at least what you, you, you know, I think it's just time. It's just time to connect in a healthy way with healthy um, energies. You've been doing a lot of work and it's just time. All right. All right, guys. I hope this helps. If any event you say green eyes, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon, check your rising. Don't take this energy if it's not yours. Leave it for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. If you're interested in more content, I do post more content as a member. Leap of Faith gets a little. Boomstick gets a whole lot more. Um, they get all access, okay? And they actually both get free giveaways uh, which I'll be doing today, matter of fact, um, on a monthly basis, okay? <sighs> Taurus, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.